All right, let's try this again, shall we? But this time, we will... Uh... Who is this guy? Maybe we'll go talk to him first. Titan base calling. All outposts report. Outpost 1 reporting. All clear. Outpost 3 reporting. All clear. Outpost 2 reporting. Been seeing those workers again. I sent Brother Leary to investigate, but they disappeared. Couldn't find them. Report noted. Outpost 2. Stay alert. 10-4, Titan Base. What does this out guy two, out. Ooh, crashed plane. Hello? Shadowy figure. Good, good, yeah, nice. Glad to meet you, Rangers. I have to represent an outfit here in the so-called safe zone. We're called the Diamondback Militia. I think we might share some ways of thinking, some philosophies, you know? You're new here, so you might not know the situation, but I hope we can work together. The safe zone doesn't seem very safe. Mm, see, I knew we'd have the same outlook. Really a meeting of minds. The Diamondbacks feel the same way about the canyon. Under our control, we keep it nice and tidy, the way you rangers do out in Western AZ. We might have to collect a small toll from travelers' basic expenses, but the canyon would be open to everyone free of raiders, badgers, and religious wackos. You know, the problem is Titan. Who or what is Titan? I'm serious. It's an honest-to-goodness ICBM with a live nuclear warhead. Not good, not good. What is the situation? The status quo for the last few years has been as such. The mad monks live in the Temple of Titan, so-called because they worship a Titan II intercon intercontinental ballistic missile as their god. The temple is actually an old missile silo with a live nuke to boot. That firepower, they ensure everyone in the canyon follows their rules. Anyone gets too far out of line, they threaten to blow the damn nuke and wipe this whole place off the map. Hmm. Tell me about the Mad Monks. Well, they call themselves servants of the Mushroom Cloud, but what they really are is sociopaths. When the DBM takes charge, it will be safer for everyone, even if we have to do a little aggressive house cleaning to get that done. What can you tell me about the temple? Like I said, it's a pre-war nuclear missile silo, birthplace of the apocalypse itself. Is that the kind of place you want a group of batshit cultists in charge of? No, but I don't know if I want you in charge of it either. Tell me more about the servant of the mushroom cloud. The name's just a fancy way of saying crazy. What are the monks' rules? That's where things get really nutty. The monks ask each traveler for tribute, basically a toll. Each group is asked to give something particular to them. Usually traders just have to give them a few items from inventory. Sometimes the monks get inventive and ask for weird stuff. Now, whomever promises to give tribute gets an escort to the temple, and anyone with an escort is considered protected. The escort will fight to the death to protect their charge. Makes sense so far, right? Problem is, these monks are in a hell of a rush to die and carry nuke grenades to spread the reaper along. And once your monk escort is dead, you're fair game for the next scumbag who wanders by. Now that scumbag has a monk escort, no one can interfere without the monks getting mad at the Samaritan. Nutso, right? Nuke grenades. Nasty pieces of work. Basically little dirty bombs with what they make out of TNT and radioactive sludge that you can find in leaky barrels around the canyon. Not a pretty way to go. Tribute, what is it? These religious types can never say anything plainly, it's just their version of a toll. Who are the damn back militia? We're lawmen just like you. We want to keep the peace, maintain order, punish the a-holes to try to take advantage of the weak and defenseless raiders, slavers, the mad monks, bad dudes. So how does the DBM plan to get the canyon in order? Now that's the right question, rangers. Good, good. I can't give you all the details now, but my CO is cooking up a plan to take Titan out of the picture. Trouble is, I think it'll need to be an inside job, which means only someone the monks can Trust can pull it off, and I'm thinking you've got some very trustworthy faces and a good rep, but just to be sure about your skills. What would make you sure one were the ones for the job? The DBM likes to play its course close to the vest. No one in the canyon knows where they've set up shop, and we like it that way. We've done a hell of a job keeping our base location a secret. 
If you crack that nut and find our HQ, I think we'll know you're the ones for this mission. That's all I can tell you for now. We're keeping this on the QT in case you don't work out. In fact, only me and my CO know about our little chat here. So if you see other DBM in the canyon, they'll treat you like any other potential threat. Just a word of warning. Tell and chat. I don't have high enough another one. All right. Good, good. I hope you'll be seen soon. All right, so... Also, for anyone that may have noticed, I might sound a little congested. Between the last video I recorded and this set of videos, I got sick. So I apologize for any congesty sounding, but kind of made that guy sound cool, right? Okay, so let's see. Where's that guy that wants to go charging into danger? We'll help him next. Here he is. Where is she? Where'd you take her? What do you care, asshole? You'll never make it. Now I'm even further than you. <laughs> Bleh. I'm coming, Tam. I'm coming. How terrible. <laughs> we gotta help find his wife. Right? Yeah. Talk to Tom. Okay, we had this conversation last time, so I'm just gonna run through these super fast. Mark a Titan. Public enemy. Mad Monks. Titan's Peace. Titan. Raiders, tribute, Tam, wife, what happened, stock, name. Okay, so did we agree to help him? Hey, let me out of the no, run, run! Catch up with him. Ah, boy there, weary traveler. This is Werewolf Wally. Ow! Howling at you from radio station KPOW in the heart of downtown Damada. Are you tired, hungry, lost in the trackless reaches of the waste? Then point yeah, your go. tiny toward the friendliest little town in Arizona, Damanta. This is Outpost One. Come in. Go ahead, Outpost One. Yeah, I need a replacement for Brother Ferris. He went huh. to the Great Glade, defending a party of merchants from. Oh, badgers. Outpost One, out. That sure sounds synthetic, doesn't it? Who is this? Fade, why don't you get up here? Flip over. In turn. Hopefully these little buggers won't spread out too much. Turn. Kid, go ahead and get up here. Oh, they're gonna spread out too much. Okay, never mind. Oh! Now well, I oh, go ahead, Scotch Mill. Last him. I'm so to the finish as I drink my squeeze. Okay, Popeye. Well, since Tom's dead, anyways. Ba boom. Go, kid, go. Yeah, oh, fall back. I want you getting mauled. Nice. Oh, it's so weird not having Angela with this anymore. Get on there, Fade. Open up. Go ahead and fall back. Doing? Why are you stuck in this little animation loop? Hey, I have 
gonna die you know what I'm saying I gotta alright he's got an extra gun I forgot about that oh yeah we did get a die d20 eh that's cool I was got a jar of pickles ooh here is that to fade and I think can you have that and that this law rocket Maybe we'll use that in the can't, but I doubt it. Can you have the hatchet? Okay. <clears throat> oh, kid, sorry, I overloaded you. I don't know when you're overloaded. Shit. Uh, can you use just the old timer? Cool. Well, it looks like whoever screwed that guy over and killed his wife, they got wiped out by the badgers wait I don't know what this is all about please stop doing it it's annoying can't search in these containers unfortunately hmm what else do they have pink pink ugh dentures gross no right now she's overloaded uh, old timer, is that gonna overload you? Nope, it didn't, good. <laughs> Here we go. Alright, see if you can get us in there. Don't say that, I hate when you say that. He's gonna be dancing in place the rest of the game, isn't he? Your friend, the Great Glow. What's this? Well, did you take it, or did you give it to someone else? Here. Scratch me, you can have that. Here we go. Oh, it's the kid, that's why. An amigo hat, huh? Now you have this to Daisy. Let's see what this amigo hat looks like. I'm curious. Oh, yeah! The sombrero. Gotcha. Let's look for the knit cap, thanks. Alright, can we read this? Oh, jeez. <clears throat> Your friend, the Great Glow. Greetings to you, new believer. We welcome you into our fold with gladness in our hearts and radiation in our lungs. We are not yet under... You may not yet understand the Great Glow. You may even fear it. Do not worry. We have all struggled in such ignorance. To understand what the Great Glow is, is to understand the universe. You, I, and everything we would not exist without the energy and power of the, of the theory. Everything is a part of it, but it is the mushroom cloud and the bomb that express it most directly, and thus are the holiest of holiests. But do not, but you do not need to seek the mushroom cloud to find the Great Glow. Look into the eyes of a child. See that energy, that life there? That is the great glow. Run, leap, bound, whoop and holler. Be glad you are alive, for it is the great glow that moves you as it moves us all. It is the great glow that created you, the energy unbound from which springs all life. Of course, the blessing of the great glow is not free, for nothing in life is free. Study with your elders to truly understand the great glow, the blessing of Titan the nature of the mushroom cloud, and understand why salvation lies only through their wisdom. And always keep in mind these rules. 1. Pray to Titan daily, no matter what. 2. Titan's law rules our canyon. Only those who pay tribute may pass through unmolested. This is Titan's peace. It applies not to our monks, who are always protected by Titan's peace, 
but to any and all travelers who pass through, regardless of their business and former ties you may have to them. 3. You and all true believers must enforce the Titan's peace. Protect those who would pay tribute. Return those who did not to the great glow. This is the apex of the service you can give to our Lord Titan, and he will reward you, take you into his embrace, and reshape you into a glorious being. Do not halt or pause anything in performing this duty, not even your death or the death of your brethren. 4. If you find any ancient artifacts or remnants that carry the great glow, inform your elders immediately. Do not handle these items, at least in your ignorance they def you defile them. 5. When it is your time, as determined by our Lord Titan, embrace the great glow and find peace everlasting. May Titan bless us all. Well, that was clearly the same, the inspiration for the uh, Children of Adam in the Fallout franchise. Which had nuclear bomb worshipping nut jobs. So Tom died, but you know, his wife was dead. He was miserable. I don't think it really. Now I can't see anything past me. Yeah, thanks. We noticed. Actually, let me put a uh, our detector out in front. I remember the band. The canyon floor is littered with rent, oozing chunks of raiders in the center. A badge, badge of ruined woman's body lies dead. So, the jerks. This appears to be the body of Tom's wife, Tam, and has been badly mistreated by both raiders and honey badgers. Poor bastard. Sorry, Tom. Couldn't help you. What's that? Banana pudding? What? I gotta take a closer look at this. Banana pudding. Found in a cooking pot of a band of raiders eaten by badgers, this is properly made southern style banana pudding topped with meringue. Applies banana pudding. Um, It's a consumable? Let's save and see what happens when we eat it. Okay. Uh, Hex, go ahead and eat the pudding. Hex now benefits from banana pudding effect. Banana pudding, unique. You feel great after eating that delicious banana pudding. Yum. Plus one con every ten seconds. Plus three action points. Two ninety cents remain. Can be removed with the appropriate item. So it's basically just a quick temp buff for extra con and action points. So I should totally reload the game and save it for combat. Okay, I'll do that. Alright, so we have one banana pudding now. What is... Okay, Tom's corpse got up and took a stance all of a sudden. But hey, Fade stopped dancing in place. You're also glowing like you have... A loot on you? You know what? I don't. Let's just leave. I don't know why that's happening. I don't want to know why that's happening. Let's just go. Alright, so we have to find these. We have to find this guy's base. Their hidden secret base. Oh, oh, we're not getting into that anyways. Oh, now I really do want to go. I don't, does anyone have, I don't think anyone in the group has, uh, punch it down, do they? Nope, 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 nope. Ralphie has brawling, but he doesn't have, uh, what was it, brute force? Yeah. Dang it. Should I give him brute force? 
Let's see if I can get Angela back. I kind of think I want her to go back to the Citadel just to get her back because of that. Gila monster? What's, oh, Gila monitor. Let's back away a little bit. I don't Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, take a moment to hit that like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe and hit that bell notification icon to stay up to date with all the new videos. As always, I enjoy and appreciate your comments, and if you can share my channel and videos on social media and across the internet, it would help as it is your support that keeps this channel going. So, until next time everyone, as always, please, stay safe out there.